All right, so we're going to do the chain rule for calculus. And I'm going to give you three examples as far as why this works the way it does. So the first example, actually I'm going to use the same example three different times. So if I have 3x plus 7 squared. Okay, so I have 3x plus 7 squared. So far when we're taking derivatives, I can approach this one of two ways. So the first way is going to be I can use product rule. So I can turn around and rewrite this as a 3x plus 7 times a 3x plus 7 and use product rule on it. So I would have the first, so let's just write it this way. I would have the first, which is 3x plus 7, times the derivative of the second, which is 3, plus the second, which is 3x plus 7, times the derivative of the first, which is another 3, so then the question is, how many 3x plus 7 times 3s do I have? I have this one and I have this one, which means I have two 3 3x plus 7s, which means really I've got a 6 times a 3x plus 7. Okay, so that's way number one. Way number two is I could have foiled the whole thing out to start with. So this is the start of way one. Way number two is I could have foiled him out. So starting here, recognizing that this is 3x plus 7 times 3x plus 7, when I foil it, I'll get a 9x squared plus a 2142x plus 49. And now I can take a derivative term by term. So the first derivative of 9x squared is going to be 18x plus the derivative of 42 is 42. So if you look at that, you will notice that 6 times 3 is 18x, 6 times 7 is 42. So I got the same answer either way. However, it's not always going to be this basic and upfront. So your third method, which is called the chain rule, chain rule, is going to be uh, the same method that we've been using as far as power rule and that type of stuff goes. The only change is going to be, we're going to say, times the derivative of the inside. So if I look up here, what is the inside? The inside is a 3x plus 7. Is the derivative of 3x plus 7 1? No, it's not. So we have to use chain rule to incorporate that information. So what I have is y equals 3x plus 7 squared. Chain rule says this. I am going to rewrite this as drop your exponent out front, just like what we've always been doing, times what's sitting there. Don't change it. Drop your exponent by 1. And then the new part is times the derivative of the inside. So the derivative of the inside is 3, which means if I rewrite that, I will have 6 times 3x plus 7, or 18x plus 42. So I get the same answer. So again, the new part with chain rule is simply times the derivative of the inside. So the notation that we're going to use is this. And this is going to come in handy later on when we do integrals. I could have rewritten this as u equals the inside stuff and then take a derivative of both sides. So u prime is 3. Rewrite this part using u's. So this is now going to be u squared. So y equals u squared. And now I have y prime equals 2u times the derivative of the inside. So I just drop my exponent out front, drop my exponent by 1, times the derivative of whatever u is. So when I resub back in, I've got 2 times a u, which is 3x plus 7, times the derivative of the inside. So again, I'm not going to keep writing it this way until later on, but for when we get into integration, which is undoing everything that we're doing, that's what's going to help us out. So that's your introduction 
So the next video will be some basic examples and the video after that will be harder examples.